Vamos, vamos a seguirlo. No, se me fue para el agua. Landing. Ay, puta. Se me fue para adentro. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan and this is actually my first ever YouTube video. So as you can see from the beginning clip, my Mavic Mini decided to go for a swim, which was pretty heartbreaking because I love that drone and it was like a $400 drone. Um, I didn't really know what happened at that point. Everything happened so quick, but I looked over at the footage again and I realized something. So have a look and see for yourself. Right, so coming back to this footage, here you could see that I'm over the water, but it's fine. You know, earlier on I was by that blue bulk and it was fine as well. It's only when the boat actually turns around and produces a wave, and as soon as that wave gets under the drone, right here, it starts descending. And then I fight it to come back, and it lands right there. It wouldn't go up. There it's under the water. And now it's lost signal, but the aircraft is still on. It's actually still on there. I'm trying to reach to grab it. I can't reach it. I took off my shoes quickly and jumped in. Here's where I took it out finally. You see my socks all wet there. And it's on, it reconnected, the signal came back on it and it's actually still on. I didn't know that at the time, I thought it was off completely. So it's just here, um, you know, just, complaining and soaking you know what happened can't believe it and here I'm looking to take the battery out but if we go back you can see it again right here it was fine and then if you look just behind the boat the wave it's producing there it's just getting to me now and here it starts going down and it won't go up so I race it back and it just goes out of control and drops right there so that's what happened. So the first thing I did after my drone took a swim is jump in and take it out. Take out the battery, take out the SD card. I shook it about for about 10 minutes. I bought a kilo of rice, well, a couple kilos of rice and um, a container which is right here. And I went to do the old rice that they put it into a container of rice and waited for 24 hours and then their drone flew again. I put it in and waited for four days. Know, so I had my son on the weekend and I just completely forgot about the drone and just spent some time with my son and I dropped him off yesterday and now it's Monday and today is the day today is the moment of truth I kind of put in my head that I've lost the drone already and it's not gonna work I have uh, a Xeno Pro as well so it's not all bad I still can do some footage I put a sock on over it because people in YouTube were saying that the dust of the rice will get in there and do something to it so I just put this stuff over it to protect it. What scares me the most is putting this battery back in but I ordered another battery and it was supposed to come today and it didn't come and I've waited for four days I just can't help it anymore. Wish me luck if it doesn't work well I've made a video just to show that this doesn't work for everyone. I see a light so if I see one light come on, that means the battery's actually working. So that's good. I'm gonna open it and just turn it on then, isn't it? Right, this is the moment of truth. Press, hold. Oh. And it's on. Brilliant, brilliant, unbelievable. I'm not gonna get too excited anyway. Many times it would turn on, but then you would see errors on it or maybe when you turn it on one of the motors is not working or it's simply flying funny you know? but it's turned on the gimbal seems to be fine alright so I guess the only thing I could do now is um, take it outside and give it a go let's see I'll see you outside I'm just gonna start with a compass calibrate so I just gotta rotate it like this then when it tells me rotate it like this And that's all. As you can see, I got my phone here connected to the controller. 
bit windy today so we're going to see the stability also of it i've connected the controller to my phone everything is connected together and now it's time to see how the mini is going to fly after spending 30 seconds submerged in water and dried up for four days it's now turned on let's see how it flies and especially today in these horrible conditions let's see how it acts and off it goes so there it is let's have a look at the stability it's holding its position really nicely what do you think guys look at that huh completely submerged underwater four days drying covering perfectly now let's move it around and see first let's take it up yep let's go down all right so let's get it on sports mode here it comes So far it's acting really good I have to say it's acting exactly how it did before the fall So as you can see there, stable as a rock on a windy day Yeah, Today we're looking at about 15 mile an hour gusts of wind And the Mavic Mini is acting really good I've got the Xeno Pro as well and unfortunately I don't know what's wrong with it the Xeno Pro does not hold as steady as the Mavic Mini Landing is as easy as that.